pre-COVID and stuff came down to Zeno all the time. Hasn't been cut, you know, hasn't come back as often. Um, probably like has work and stuff, like I'm sure, or anything, any any reason why. But um, definitely been around for a while. Has some, I think, has a win on Gen. Has some other good wins. Was seen as like a PR contender at points. So really strong player um, who hasn't been taking Smash as seriously, but definitely can still be a threat. Helper though, also, um, I think he's, he's always just been at that, like, he's he's a challenge uh, mm -hmm. skill range, you know? It's never like a free set on Helper. He definitely puts up a good fight. We're gonna see Sora. Yeah, definitely it's sort of one of those, like, gatekeeper style players. All right. And speaking of, you know, keeping gates, Sora is really one of those knowledge check type of characters. He's got so much weird stuff that you just kind of have to know about. Like that. Like the weird thunder from Ledge. Yeah, this, there's so many things you do against Sora that like you don't have to do against any other character just because of like, there's really no sorty nearly as like floaty as him like, and as like kind of like, I don't even know, he's like so slow, but like in a way where it still hits you, like he just slowly swings his sword and covers so much space. Mm -hmm. So he's a character, you just have to respect in the air so much. Yeah, he's so slow, but I feel like he covers like really unorthodox angles. Plus, I mean, of course, he's got great reversals out of shield like that upbeat. Yeah, it, definitely unorthodox and definitely like his shield pressure with how floaty he is, is not not really like anyone else in the game especially with how his like fair and air bounce off your shield uh it's, it's really it kind of like reminds me like bayonetta's fair a bit mm -hmm. and just the way like you can have so much mix-ups with just tapping someone's shield with it yeah just one of those one of those moves that just makes you uncomfortable and makes you really unsure about when it's your turn Ooh. helper right now saying it isn't your turn with a counter All right, Solcer with the Charizard right now. Maybe gonna be looking for a kill, like the F tilt. He is light though. Gotta say, uh, so Sora obviously has fault right there, but um, even then we saw he double, double fair, double nair. I'm not sure the shield, and then floated out of the grab range and out of like even up smash range, and then went in with the third hit of it. So that shield pressure is gonna be so strong from Sora. Definitely his biggest strength. What was that? Legend invincibility ran out. He got hit by like one tick of the Blizzaga. Yeah, and stage spike. That would have been funny if there was okay. like a buffered air dodge after SD. Mm -hmm. well, well, not for Solcer, but for the audience at back home. Solcer sort of sitting at 154 right now. Got one down air for his troubles. And that was all he got for Helper's second stock right now. Almost a full stock behind. And I feel like Helper has not had to change what he's doing once because Solcer is kind of just running into it. You know, like, Solcer has been jumping into this airspace that he's occupying, and he has not been dealing with these projectiles too well. He's been getting hit by a decent amount of thunders and freezes. I think it's a bit of just unfamiliarity, honestly. Yeah, I think, you know, plenty of Blizzaga's, these super active hitbox that is difficult to... To, to work around, especially because, you know, Helper's been doing it as he's descending, so it's covering a lot more uh, ground. That was a really weird... Oh! Okay. Uh, Helper is on point with this punt, with, like, his movement, though. Like, he really has a grasp on Sora's kit. Mm hmm Absolutely. And, yeah, it's like... I think there's a lot of matchup checks that happened, you know, pressuring Sora's shield like that, trying to grab those fares, like just getting hit by like these thunders and blizzagas from spaces I think Solcer thought he was safe. I think definitely some matchup on familiarity coming out and see if we can figure it out fast enough. Yeah, especially stuff like yeah, that. that. Like, who's who's ready? Who's I ready I for probably that? get hit with that one, I'll be honest. Oh, and then look at that, just he can Nair you from such a safe space, safe distance landing, and it combos into an S smash that goes mm -hmm. very early. Like, that is a threat of a character right there. All right, so Solcer coming in with the small battlefield, looking to, you know, keep things a little bit closer so that Helper can't really come in from those unorthodox angles. But, I mean, if you can't get in on Helper's, you know, projectile game that he's been getting, it's going to be a rough time. That shield is looking so low. Yeah, Sora also a character that can kind of plank a bit. 
you know, it's like he can do like a rising up air from ledge and it's very hard to deal with. Um, and on top of that, he just like has so much ability to stall that it's so, even if he like has to re-grab, it's so ambiguous when he's going to do that, if he's even going to go on the ledge again. Really good ledge game. Yeah, I mean, especially with those projectiles. I mean, we've been talking before about how it's just the projectiles in particular have been something Solcer has been kind of struggling with. Ooh. Not, is right. he even dead? No. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you got <it. laughs> okay. All right. I think right there, uh, maybe if Helper like upbeat a bit more to the left on the last one, and then like uh, there might have been a chance. But the first side B, that sort of that has to be just left or right. So it makes it so you can't just triple side B upwards. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, okay. I like the use of the uh, the Pokemon switch to get out of there. And now Solcer actually with a lead. The Ooh. counter pick, counter pick really helping him out. Yeah, let's see what Helper does when he's at deficit. You know, we've never had to see him switch it up. Let's see if he can. I think using your shield pressure is going to be so important right here at deficit. You obviously, like, projectile camping is going to be a lot less strong, but if you can just mix up shield and get a one opening, it can be enough. I wonder if an up smash would have killed the, a combo there. Not quite sure. Maybe it might have been weird with the, uh, the really high percentages. Solcer trying to react to a Helper only doing the uh, the two side Bs, but wasn't quite ready. That's so oh, difficult yeah. to react to if he's going to do the third side B on your shield. Oh, especially on the, the, the Wi-Fi Soras, uh, when, <laughs> when this character first came out, the amount of times it was just, just the what, two or three side B mix-up over and over. It's very, uh, very tough to react to. Great aggression there by Solcer. Uh, catching Helper, starting to throw out the Faraga. Ooh, and that's so good, you know, because um, even though that Thunder looks like such a, like a grand move, Sora can act surprisingly soon after it. All right, nice punish on the counter. Helper off stage again. Ooh. I feel like now that Solcer is really starting to be more aggressive with his ledge plays and not let Helper really plank like he was, it's been really working out for him. But Helper getting the second stock. Yeah, I like that bear from Helper. He's kind of not been playing, like, he's kind of been playing back a lot. So just to go out with a bear, I feel like Solcer was probably waiting for, like, a Thundaga or something, you know, not ready for an aggressive option like that. Oh, and those side Bs, I feel like that's always one of those moves that's a sign of, like, some tilt happening from a player. It's like yeah. Squirtle side being onto people. Yeah. Especially Rob side B, when Rob just start throwing random side Bs. <laughs> it's a bad sign. Oh. Uh, okay, but I mean, I think Solcer has been using it not to just hit Helper, but really try and make it back to center stage. A great drift by Helper, not getting hit by the IV down air that time. Solcer bringing it to last stock. Yeah, well, I feel like another thing about Sora, because he's so light and floaty, he does not get comboed that hard. He like kind of gets hit by like a few, and then he's out of there and flying in space, and he has so much ways he can mix up his drift. So it's it's tough actually. Even though Sora's light, it's kind of tough to bring it, make a comeback super easily because he's a really elusive character. Surprised that upper didn't kill. Oh, big tail moments. But other side of the stage, not too worried about dying just yet. This time maybe. No. Okay, it's the the third one now. That's oh, super dead. That's yeah. That's the charm. Fourth time's the charm. That's yep. how it goes. You're getting countered that deep. That's that's it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, I feel like a bit of a matchup check, but I also feel like Helper never lost composure once, you know? I feel like he was really confident he could win or will win that entire time, and it showed in his gameplay. He went for stuff, like, and it worked most of the time because I feel like he had no hesitation in his plays. Mm -hmm. So just really good stuff, yeah. you know? That being said, though, you know, I really feel like Solcer was doing some really good ad adaptations in game two. It was just, you know, a case of too little too late. Yeah, for sure. I think, like, Solcer, um, you know, he started off uh, with a lead, but I feel like he then, like, still just did not know how to... Once he lost that, I feel like he then, like, it kind of got out of hand because he does not know how to deal with Sora playing defensive yet. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's something, you know, just matchup knowledge you need to work on. But good stuff from Helper. Going to be seeing Vivi and Player 4, though. That's Ooh. a hot set. Yeah.